Hello, this is Brian from Resurgence Web Design, and I'm back with another screencast for uh, OpenCart, part of my OpenCart tutorial series. Today, we are going to be looking at OpenCart animations. Uh, I hope uh, that you've taken a look at some of my earlier screencasts. Uh, in those, you'll uh, learn some of my techniques for managing themes and the file uh, folder structures that I use uh, within my theme directory. Uh, if you have not, I suggest maybe going back and reviewing a few of those, get you up to speed, because we are going to be working off of that same theme. Uh, so, uh, for those of you who have seen some of my screencasts, uh, a lot of this should look very familiar to you. So, what are we going to do today for animations? Well, let's start by talking a little bit about animations uh, on the web. So, see this guy, his head floating around here? This is animated using strictly CSS. And uh, you could just add some uh, code to your CSS file to include some keyframes. And uh, you can uh, do the same thing uh, right from scratch without having to you know, download any sort of libraries. Uh, however, this is not a tutorial on how to write uh, animations in CSS. Uh, there are some excellent animation tutorials out there already. Uh, I know Val Head has a great series as part of uh, lynda.com. Some of that's available on YouTube, and there's plenty of other tutorials out there if you want to teach yourself CSS animations. Uh, but for the purpose of this, tutorial, we're just going to use an existing library and include it in our theme. So uh, let's just take a look at what this library can do. Uh, here's some examples of different types of animations. Slide up, hatch, slide, expand up, stretch, pull up, all very nifty. So <coughs> Let's, uh, let's go ahead and download this. We're going to save this file in our downloads. Let's grab this and bring it on over to our style sheets directory. So if you remember, we created this um, style sheets directory to include our main.css, which is where we made a lot of our changes. Uh, we have uh, also have the default style sheet that we pulled over from the default theme. And uh, let's just take a quick look at this animation that CSS. You can see your keyframes. You can see your different transforms. This is how um, you know uh, they are actually accomplishing all of those neat tricks. And uh, feel free to peruse this file at your leisure. Uh, it is definitely helpful if you're learning how to program uh, animations. But if you just want to get right into it, you could just go back to the quick reference on the website and see what some of the different classes that you need to use to include those. All right, so how are we going to go ahead and add that in? Let's start by going into our template directory, common, and let's uh, take a look at our header.tpl. What do we got here? We have um, these includes that we used before for adding in our main.css. Uh, we're going to do the same thing here, and since we saved that animation.css in the same folder, we can just copy that line and change it from main.css to animation.css. Save that, and uh, that's it. We can start including, uh, start assigning uh, this class, these different classes to some of our existing elements in our open cart catalog. So where do we want to edit exactly? Well, let's take a look. Let's, let's think about this. Let's go back to our trusty old uh, open cart theme that we've been working on. And if you look at these different category pages, um, you've got the category title up here at the top. Um, we might want to add uh, something that's going to draw people's eye to those category uh, titles. This way, you know, it kind of 
pulls people away from the navigation and some of the other things right to the actual content that we want them going to. So this is an h1 tag in our uh, within our content. So let's go ahead and uh, just style that so that it um, it isn't just a uh, text on a blank background. And um, we don't have anything in our template directory for that, do we? So let's go to our default template product and we're going to copy over this category.tpl. This way we can go ahead and make changes to it and see. Actually, before we do that, let's go ahead and style it in the CSS. So let's go back to our style sheet. Let's go to our main.css and we're going to style that that was content it was an h1 tag and uh, well let's, let's make the background let's make the background blue let's set the width to 300 pixels so that it's not going across the entire screen we'll add some padding Change the font color to white. We'll align it in the center. And let's put some rounded quarters on there with the border radius property. Uh, nice liberal 10 pixels. And let's take a look, see what that looks like. All right, good. So now we've got a nice rounded box up there at the top that uh, we can play around with. <coughs> so we copied over that category.tpl file and in there we're gonna look for where our h1 tag is. So right here I see the heading title. So this is simple and uh, it's you're gonna be amazed by how uh, actually how simple it is to actually uh, include some animation in your open cart uh, catalog. So let's add a class name here. Class equals pull up. And let's just make sure that that refreshes. Did I save it? Hmm. Let's make sure that we saved our header.tpl. Let's make sure that I named that correctly. Style sheet animations.css. Animations. See? Typo. All right. We were not including the correct file there. Look at that. Works perfectly. If you didn't see that the first time, you see it kind of uh, starts small and just expands upwards. Uh, we can take a look at some of these other animations here. We can use some of these different ones, slide left, slide right, hatch, Let's see what hatch looks like. Again, we're going to go to our class for our H1 and, oh, it'll help if I'm in the right file here. Hatch. Again, that's in the category.tpl file. Look at that. Pretty cool, right? Now, maybe that's not the best use of it in uh, you know the context of an e-commerce store, but you could see um, you know, how easy it is to set that up. Uh, maybe something that would be a little bit more useful is when we're actually looking at a product. Maybe we want to do something with this add to cart button, right? We want to draw people's attention to it without having to make it huge or you know uh, very brightly colored so 
Ah, we could do something with that too. Let's just take a look here. So that is of a class button. So let's see if we can make some change to the, again, we're going to go into the default. That's within the theme folders. So it's within catalog, view, theme, default, template, product. We're going to copy over the product.tpl file. Let's go back into our OC Pro template product. We'll make a copy of that there. Again, this is going to override any of the defaults. And let's, uh, let's search for that. This, button. this is button upload, button cart. We want the one for add to cart. Add to cart right there. So in my code, it's uh, on line 335. So how are we going to do this? Let's uh, just go ahead and add in, pull up, save that. Let's see what that looks like. Disappointing. Not sure why that didn't work. Let's see. That is our add to cart. Class button. Pull up. Let's try one of the other ones. Pulse. I am not sure why that's not working. Let's inspect that. You know what? It's a good opportunity, good learning opportunity right here, right? Let's inspect this element. And it does not look like it is. Let's go back to our categories here. Let's go back to our product. And let's see if we can debug this. Because that absolutely should be animated. Input type button. ID button cart. There we go. All right, I just made change to the wrong line of code there. So uh, I went back and uh, looks like it was within the div class cart. So if we look back here, yep, that's exactly why. I was looking within the wrong div. But I wonder what button we were styling then. Ah, well, nonetheless, uh, you can see here that, um, you know, we have successfully made a pulsating add to cart button. So this is nice in the fact that it will kind of draw your eye to it. Um, you know, maybe we need to resize it a bit to uh, make it a little bit more um, eye-catching, but you can see how this could really be useful in um, just adding a little bit more flair to your e-commerce site. So again, we've gone ahead and styled the categories and styled the add to cart. And uh, basically, you can now go and apply these animation techniques to any of your elements within your within your uh, open cart site. Um, again, this is uh, well. Let's just before we go. Um, I want to make it a habit to start checking these in at the end of each of our sessions here. So I'm going to go ahead and commit this to, um, to Git, 
and uh, this way we can start fresh uh, with the same copy next time. Uh, hopefully I'll have another one of these out soon. Um, again, this is uh, Brian Gregg from Resurgence Web Design. I hope that this was helpful, and uh, you know, I'm always looking for your feedback. You can reach me at Twitter. Um, it's at Ignore Intuition. Uh, and uh, you can also reach me at uh, ResurgenceWebDesign.com. All right, thanks for listening.